the daddy bear. Hi. Hi. <laughs> oh, please, Jack, please. Would you go get mommy some more iced tea if you're going to be here? Miss Jordan, much has been said here about your use of tobacco. Just cigarettes. It's something I like doing. Three crimes, murder in the second degree, manslaughter, and criminally negligent homicide. She certainly engaged in an activity that created a risk. It's like drunk drivers. Everything in life creates a risk. Mrs. Jordan, if you had the last 25 years to live over again with your husband, would you smoke? I wonder how she could have loved him as much as she said she did and constantly blow smoke in his face. I believe her smoking killed him. A man raises a gun and fires it into the chest of another human being. The laws of physics and biology would tell us all that the victim dies as a direct cause of the bullet. Taking me to prison isn't going to bring him back. I wish you could just put yourself in my shoes for a minute. You'd... No, you. You put yourself in his shoes. Does anyone consider taking responsibility for one's own actions? Didn't your son, Jack Jr., and your late husband over and over and over give you signs, subtle and blatant? I'm not going to sit here and allow you to convict a woman who had no intention of killing her husband. Someone has died here. I thought we were here to do justice. It's about personal responsibility. You are still guilty of murder. It's really getting tense in there. It was supposed to react to emotion. You want to take away our rights? Look at that! Are you telling me that those are the same things? Somebody gonna get hurt. Yeah, but me. 